Hey, hey, welcome back. This is Let's Play DDO with Illuminus. I, of course, am of Illuminus. Uh, we're here in the sunken sewer, and uh, I've already recorded this twice now, but uh, for some reason it only recorded half of it, and I, I just want to record the whole thing all at once. Uh, we're going to start off going to the right, which is the rogue direction. There's, uh, you know, there's actually two paths in this one. Which is really nice because it makes it so that you can do a couple things. Uh, right off the bat, you're going to run into a couple traps. There's one here and one here. The trap boxes are actually past the traps. So I'm going to run into them so you can see where the traps are. There's the two traps. Let me search out the two trap boxes here. You'll notice there's a lot of spraying traps down these uh, waterways. Now I'm not going to disable any of the traps, but there is one trap box here, and there is one trap box here, and here, here again are your two traps. I'm not going to disable them just because it's going to take more time for the video. Right at the bottom here is a blade trap, right at the bottom of that. So be careful there. Let me turn this guy on aggressive. And you'll find the trap box right over here. Right in this area. Right there. And that will disable that blade trap. Uh, coming around this way, you will get yet another trap. But this one is not obvious at all. You're going to notice some smashables up here. But you're going to want to come over here and do a search in this alcove and here you're going to find your first tra your other trap as well as the trap box now this trap will not go off unless you step up here on the other side and you see it's going off there um, of course there's more more spraying traps you can't disarm those there are no trap boxes for those right down at the bottom to the right is a secret door with a chest which I'm going to bother to loot because vendor trash pays my bills <coughs> okay right in here is your rest shrine rest shrine yay uh, it looks like there should be a secret door in here but there's not so don't worry about it uh, coming through here another trap I am going to I'm going to show you how to disable it <coughs> sorry I'm coughing I got I have a real sore throat right now there's a trap box here and there's a trap box here so one trap box two trap boxes whole bunch of spikes all throughout the floor let me yeah there we go now you can disable it on either one of those trap boxes or you can come over here to the lever and by pulling the lever you will disable the outer spikes so you can walk through or you, your teammates can walk through those people who don't have the reflex scores uh, if you want to do the inner spikes, those are actually done on the trap boxes. So you can you can do the trap boxes there and get the inner spikes. Uh, coming around right in front of the gate here is another secret door. And that opens a lever which controls over here for your next chest. Which I'm going to loot here. Okay. And we are going to pop this lock here. See why you gotta be a rogue? So that you can open all these doors. I'm gonna let my cat kill that ooze there because I don't feel like doing it. Um, right up here sometimes is a rare spawn and his chest will be right here sometimes. Uh, he didn't spawn today, he's a rust monster. So uh, watch out for your weapons there. Don't let your weapons get uh, all eaten up. Uh, and then right here is the final room. Now I'm going to go back to the start here and show you the other direction. The uh, I'm going to show you the melee, non-rogue, non-trapper way of doing this. And uh, a lot of it's just going to be run through, kill this, run through, kill this. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to skip quite a bit of it because I don't feel like killing it tonight. I, uh, like I said, I've got a pretty sore throat. <coughs> I'm trying my best not to cough into the microphone just like that. I'm so sorry. 
and uh, drinking drinking hot chocolate. Hoping that makes my throat feel better. It's, it's all nice and warm, and I hate tea. Not not go with tea. Um, so back at the entrance, I like it. just jumped into the wall. Uh, back at the entrance, coming to the left-hand side, up through the waterfall, you can come this way. You're going to encounter some traps that you cannot disable. Don't bother. Just time time your jumps through them. Come through. Uh, this room here is pretty easy. If you go around the sides of the bridge, there are two levers. Is pretty easy. If you go around the sides of the bridge, there are two levers. One lower and two and that will lower the first half of the bridge now the second half of the bridge will lower about midway through the room here you can see there's levers to the side there and that'll lower the second half of the bridge lever 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 who's got the lever I just got the lever because it lowered the bridge. Cookie. I want cookies. Um, valve. Valve opens the next door. Try not to get killed by kobolds who are throwing crap at you. Uh, coming through here, looks like it should be trapped. Once you run past, out pops skeleton. Yay, skeleton. Okay. Now, right here, secret room. Like a rune. So the only way you're going to get in here is if you can do that rune. I believe it's an int rune. I'm really not sure. Be on the be on the lookout. There are oozes in here. But there are spiders. Lots and lots of spiders. They love to throw web. They're going to catch you in their web. La la la. Killing lots of spiders. La 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 la. Okay. And now... Ooh. We did get the rare spawn here. And he is over here. His name is Ruin. He's a... He's just another spider. A uh, monster. If you do a... Uh, magical Beast Bane, it'll deal more damage to him. Uh, his chest is right here in the open. It's pretty easy to catch. You're gonna see one chest here, one chest here. Uh, this is the rare spawn chest. And if you look, there's the bridge that we just lowered out there. Well, get out of the way, Panther, so I can loot the chest. Bunch of useless stuff in my... Oh no, my inventory's full! I'm full of useless stuff! What can I throw away here? Scroll of a blade of armor, I don't know. Um... Whatever, I'll just... I'll not bother. Um... Yay! Need more thieves tools, that's not cool. Um... Look, lots of thieves tools. Yay! So, running back to where we opened the rune lock door. You're gonna run right up here for your first shrine. Shrine, yay. And not a whole lot here. Couple shamans up on the sides. I am running this on Elite, by the way, so. Yeah. And right here is the drop down where we were with the other one. You'll notice there's a another kind of rune locked door over to the side there, but we can't get that yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to swim under the water and into the middle of this platform. There is a opening that you've got to climb up. And this is actually going to finish the quest, so make sure you have your ransack and everything before you get in here. Run to the chest, it'll lock you in. There's a troglodyte here who's going to attack you, along with... Three scorpions, I believe. Three. One, two, three, something like that. There's one. There goes two. There goes three. And after three, you can loot the chest. Yay! Nothing worthwhile. Um, okay, after that, you dive back in the water. And you the quest is finished from here, so you don't really have to worry about it right now. Uh, if you're if you're done, you can finish out. If you want to try and get the extra, you can come back this way. And you're gonna climb up the ladder. And now you'll notice the rune lock door is open. Now, 
right along in here sometimes I believe sometimes there's a rare spawn here uh, I'll note it in the annotations if there actually is I'm not I'm not for certain uh, thanks for watching let's play DDO with voluminous and I'll be back next time with oh gosh I don't even know uh, some other